try that one. Who's there? Anyone still there? Have you got you got YouTube up? Yeah, I could just get YouTube up. It's probably easier for me to just do that and talk to you on the phone. Then. Well, it should open up YouTube from the link on your phone. Mm. I'll send you the link anyway, so. It's just going through the mission, like, success at the moment. You guys ever play Metal Gear? No. Not the last one? Did you say? I don't know anyone who's done more to bring people together and get them back on their feet. It's hard to believe you're just one guy. Can't help wondering if the Great Deliverer um, isn't actually a small army. I'm pretty sure the voice actor for this character is Dexter's dad. enough to make me think you just might make it all the way to the coast. Good luck out there. I'll be rooting for you. Good work. New order available. Please access... Who are they? I don't know. Someone killed me, I'm guessing. Hey, someone killed me, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah someone kind of killed me, man. For sure. Capital Not Distro Center's holding some crypto biotes we need delivered to the city. Crypto biote cells can accelerate blood production in humans. They may well be the hardiest organisms on Earth, capable of enduring more physiological stress than any other. In harsh conditions, a crypto biote will eventually enter an metabolic state in a bid to survive. Unfortunately, shoving a bunch into a shipping container or submerging them in water for an extended period of time is enough to trigger this response. What are you doing? It takes weeks to coax them back to life if they're allowed what are we to doing? transition to this state. So you can't keep them cooped up for long. Make sure to reach Capital Knot City before it's too late. Traveler? No. I don't want to do travel. I want to go to this. Or this. Order, you will be hunting down a book. An old school printed on paper book. That Did you go to do the mission? Dates the Death Stranding, even before the world. No, I'm gonna be doing a mission, man. Published in digital formats only. It's rare to find one intact these days. 
Apparently, this particular no, book is like of researchers who may have mission. anticipated the Death Stranding. It was en route to Hartman when it was taken. Mules, according to Waystation staff, <coughs> are best in the best The book is no different from any other cargo to them. What are you doing but with us, It's priceless. Get it back, Asa. Bye. This is a somewhat unusual order. You're going to want to review the key points in the summary. What the fuck's the summary now? Delivery time limit 30 minutes. Hmm, this is new. So far, it's like not really put any other urgency on. Smashing through a level other than, like, I guess rain, like, somehow damages your cargo. But now I think it's saying, like, I've got to deliver something that's alive, so if I take too long, then they'll fuck up, so I've got to kind of push myself. And if there's monsters, I swear to God, like, I slow down into almost nothing and just try and, like, I don't know, you basically got to weasel your way through a bunch of invisible monsters and try and pick up where their sense is coming from so you can avoid them. That's about all I can do at this point. They were like, oh, they react weirdly to human, um, like, to your DNA. So, they've, like, made a collection of, like, urine samples and stool samples and shower water to make a vial of my DNA, and I just piff that at one of them at all stun them for a few seconds i don't know if it kills them or if it, like what it does exactly like it doesn't even tell you what it does it just says try it out and see what happens and yeah so like i imagine this would be like super fucking difficult to follow anyway because it just doesn't make any sense but um basically i just gotta make a choice as to what mission i want to do and i'm pretty like i don't know if i like can even pull it off at this point but, I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to feel like the whole thing's a giant metaphor for, like, society. And this is in the future. So, like, one thing they've said is that one of the reasons why this is even a job in this world is because they needed like menial tasks for humans to do that couldn't be outsourced to robots and so they just came up with this like they could have easily just chucked it in like an apc or just like a robot fucking truck which goes between these places and delivers this shit but this is the only way to keep like the, their economy going is to like give people jobs like this and i'm i'm feeling like this is like a metaphor for how society is now where we've got jobs given to people that we know that a robot could do a better job of already and like i guess like truck trucks are one of them um and you know you've got like atms and like checkouts and lots of different shit that's popping up now and i feel like this is like 500 years into the future when all that stuff took over so hard that they just like invented new jobs and they don't know what to like what practical ways to distribute work other than just like yeah take a bunch of shit somewhere i don't know it's fucking bizarre it's have you guys ever seen the show uh, movie idiocracy no it's a bit like that it's like in the future everything becomes so automated but because of that everyone gets dumber and over like 
500, 5,000 years. Like, no one knows how to fix all these, like, automated computers we've made for everything. So, like, you just click, like, a giant button in your house and stuff gets delivered and stuff. But, like, because the world's gone so shit, like, everything's turned to chaos and no one gets anything. And they just, like, they vote for... They vote for the president based on which wrestler that they think's the coolest. And they, uh... They water their crops with Gatorade and shit because they're just, like, so fucking dumb and all they know is, like, the shit they get off TV, which is retarded because they are. And it's just, like... So, a really dumb guy of today gets, um... frozen in, like, an experiment in the army and they're meant to, like, take him out in five years, but, like... 500 or 5,000 years passes and he wakes up and he's just in this like city full of morons and he's like a genius to them because he knows he just like yeah. so it's it's a giant comedy and it's like at times you're just like man this is so fucking stupid but at, on the other hand it's just like genius the way they've like made the movie so dumb <laughs> and so he ends up like saving this world or being like a hope for them to save the world because he knows basic shit like watering plants and like you know like you have to turn the computer on to make it work and just shit that they've become so retarded they don't know what they're doing anymore I don't know it's worth a watch um so I don't know what I should do I think the confidential documents Sounds interesting. And it doesn't sound like there's any like time limit, so I'll just like cruise through it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, and how's it gonna happen? Like, are we gonna... Is it gonna get to the point where we just... Like, go, like, happily give them all of our workload for the for the world? Or are we gonna be, like, useless without employment and a, a con an economy like we've got now? An Another game that's like that I've been playing is, um... Detroit Become Human. Um, yeah, it is, like, it's not a game game, it's not like something you'd get into, like, Red Dead or, or Dead by Daylight, but, like, you get pretty, um, stuck into the storyline, and you want to see what happens, but I also take, like, a month break between goes at it, so I might play it for, like, two, three hours, like, kind of figure out what's going on again. Yeah, yeah, I reckon it is, but, like, even just getting through it once is, like, it's been going for a fair while so yeah looks good Ray tracing. Isn't it based on like when sound, when sound, um, like comes around corners and bounces off objects and stuff. They've done like heaps into making, I don't know, like a distortion that's more like a, like an engine that can do distortions the way that's closest to real life. I believe it started with sound, 
and they were going to use it just for sound, and then they realised if they ran visuals the same way, they can get an incredible, like, more realistic way of doing things through that as well. Like, it's not, it doesn't bounce off things the same way, but it's light, and light interacts with things differently than just making a model and making shiny. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, the reflections themselves work similarly to the how, like, sound works and stuff. I don't know, like, it's still beyond me a bit. But, I don't know, I think I'm not pushing it as much as I could be. So... Ooh. So, I've got to use... Sorry. Um, I can bridge, well I can build a bunch of weird shit, generator, If you happen to be watching now, I'm like, building, like, there's certain things like bridges and machinery and stuff, you build by like, putting the right ingredients in, and a little, basically a little robot 3D printer pops out and it like, makes that thing in front of you. And I hope this is what I was meant to be doing, because it's like, pretty expensive in a way. Ah, oh, it charges batteries. Yeah, like, oh, let's see if I can get a little bit of a close-up of his face. Oh. Like, inside, you can, like, look up at his face real close and... Well, let's see if this... Oh, you can... First try. Okay, so that's. I'm meant to be charging the battery for this bike somehow, and I forget how the fuck they said to do it. Like, some really bizarre way. I thought this would do the trick, but maybe I put it slightly too far. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I haven't been able to ride it. I can't. And that's only talking about picking up the fucking grubs. It won't let me use the vehicle at all, so, ah oh man, it's fucking confusing. So I can dismantle it. Oh, but charging speed boost. It generates electricity, charges batteries. So am I meant to, like, find a battery or build a battery? Or <coughs> Yeah, yeah. I got the special edition, and it came with um, like a theme for your PlayStation, an avatar, and like a few in-game like I don't know, like color, color choices for like clothing or something like that. I think there was something else too. Yeah, it came with like a free download of the soundtrack that you can like put onto whatever you want, and um, I think a making of movie as well, like a DVD. 
But it, but it was like a download, so you can just store it on the PlayStation or whatever. So it must be pretty high quality, like if it if it, you have to like download gigs worth for um DVD. I suppose like DVDs are pretty big. Anyway, what the fuck am I doing? I want to go the private locker. I'll show you some. No, not private locker. Rest in private room. It shows you like what he can look like up close and with like a few of the animations they've put onto him. Watch YouTube for a second, I'll show you some of this guy's like faces and shit. Yeah. Well, it's all like, they've got these like helmets and stuff that they put the actors into and it's filming their actual faces. And then I think they've got like motion capture things on their faces as well, which maps up with the character models. Yeah. So it's like tracked put in and stimulated plus painted over with actual footage of them, if that makes sense. So like the actual, yeah. So I don't think I can get this thing working yet, but I'll figure it out. So I don't have much on my back at the moment, it's pretty rare, I'm not carrying heaps, but I thought I'd just do this mission by itself without carrying a bunch of shit. Yeah, so at the moment, like, I've only got... What is that? <coughs> Cargo. I've only got 36 kilograms on my back, which is a reasonable amount for a normal person, but once you get around, like, 80, it's pretty fucking heavy, and then once it gets to, like, 100, 120... You're really struggling to not like drop this shit all the time. And then you have monsters attack you during that. It's like, fuck. So at the moment, I'm just gonna like have a mission where I'm not like inching across the fucking map hoping I don't destroy everything and I'll just go for a run. <laughs> just build up some of that uh, anaerobic muscle. No, it's aerobic. But I always find shit along the way and I'm like, oh, I'll just add that and I'll get more points for that when I get back. And by the time I've actually got through the map, I've picked up that much shit, I'm just like, full again. It's got... It's 
It's got this weird sort of like thing where like the stuff you're picking up is stuff that other players online have dropped. And if you take it somewhere and deliver it for them, it's like you're doing something for them, but you're getting likes. It's like it's got its own social media system built into it and you get likes from it. And the more, I don't know, if the more likes you get, the higher, like the more, um, kind of perks you get in other things. So it's kind of like a, you know, one of its kind game where, like, you're literally doing stuff for the people and just, like, getting their recognition for it and that's what's counting more than anything cause we're meant to be connecting the worlds and I think it's more than just like a literal internet connection. I think it's got to do with like bringing humanity back to this species that's like lost its way. And just being like a genuine dude who picks shit up and helps people out is like a rarity in humanity by this point and everyone's just too scared to do anything. I don't know what the death stranding thing's meant to represent, what the monsters are. I think it might be just like maybe humanity's fear itself, like giving into the fear. Well, there's like two types of monsters I've seen so, so far. Well, not seen, but like one is like there's this sort of ghosty looking figure in the sky. And if he knows where you are, then he'll make these, like, black sludge demons come out from the earth and try and drag you down into their world. Um, oh, fuck. So how much is this thing? Oh, I was only a few kilos, alright. I, I shouldn't I shouldn't be picking shit up at all anyway, like I'm just trying to do a mission, like Well, this one I'm like retrieving some confidential information and stuff and like I've had one mission so far where I actually go into the camp of these other dudes that are in this world. They they're not like monsters. They seem like humans who have decided to just they're like the pirates of the world instead of connecting people they're all about keeping people segregated and they're like the terrorists or something um and yeah they're I don't know they've got like some fancy technology or something that um like I don't know allows them to like chase you down and, and knock your shit off and then they try and, I don't know, like, whether they kidnap you or try and kill you or what, like, I've, I've just, oh shit. So, you know, I think I just came across their base, or one of their bases, and they know where I am, but I have no idea where they are. All I can do to defend myself is, like, punch them if they get too close, and I feel like they've got all this shit, like, I don't know, it's weird. I've got a feeling you, if you get fucked up, it's not just a simple matter of like restart from checkpoint, it's like you get taken to their base and a bunch of other shit happens. Oh shit, there he is. Oh fuck, what am I doing? What am I doing? Alright, oh, I'm punching the shit out of him. Oh shit, there's another one. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. The first time I battled them. Knocked them both out. Okay, that wasn't as like hectic as I thought it would be. Um, honestly, like fucking lost it. Oh shit, there's another one. I don't know if they just keep coming or what. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
fuck, he's got armor or something. Fuck. There we go. Alright. So I thought I was meant to be like just stealing shit and getting the fuck out of there, but it looks like I'm gonna just beat the shit out of him too. So you can like just kind of run. Why am I why am I trying to carry this much shit? It just seems like it's kind of just like at increases the difficulty of stuff in general. But you get heaps more points the more you bring back. So you, I guess you sort of just do what you feel is like right for you. Metal Gear was always about like weighing up, not always, but like the last game they made. Fucking hell, there's another dude. Might just like drop my shit here and then beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, you can like drop it on the ground. Can they steal your shit? I think they probably can. So, I mean. I don't even, I mean, the shit I'm meant to be getting is in this base somewhere, so maybe I'll grab that and then come back and see how much of this other shit I should grab. I mean, this is just handy shit to have. Like, if your stuff gets damaged, you can, like, spray it, I guess, with, like, a nanotechnology and, like, replenish it. So you can actually, like, recover the stuff that you've, that's been damaged but not the stuff you've dropped and lost or completely destroyed. I'm not supposed to well. Confidential documents, here we go. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck off, current. Right, I'm going to do the only gun. Come in, Sanji. What do you mean? Um. <laughs> oh fuck, I need to turn around. Oh, let's go. Let's go then, Sanji. We're going to my posse. We're going to my posse. This is heavy shit. Real close to the limit. I suppose I could push it. Push it to the limit. The limit! Up above the mountain tops. I'm really not good at singing, I should just give up. Yes. They're like, Oi, careful. Jerry, fuck off! Do you want an invite? They, I feel like this Jerry? is way overkill, like I should be Do you just want like... Do Jerry? Do I need to drop some Jerry? shit. Jerry, do you want Offload. a fucking invite? <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, no, I've 
I've become more confident with it. Sorry? It's it's not impossible to get out, because I'm playing on hard. No, it is, bro. <laughs> not even halfway yet. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Why am I holding these two? I don't want to be holding these two. What the fuck? <laughs> what, where did I put it? Carried in hands, so I'll turn it. This is bullshit, dude. What the fuck? Can't you never get me out of this now? Ah. That's what I, ah, no, okay. No, okay. I'm, I'm fucking trying here, dog. But that's impossible, bro. I'm getting an arm pump for that. <clears throat> no, you don't. You gotta tap it. Yeah, no, me either. Oh, so I don't know if this path I took's like the safest. I should probably like go back to the road. Oh, 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 oh. Relax, mate. Just chill. Jump on this bike. Oh, you're gonna bond your horse. So, if I use my scanner, it shows me like how safe the terrain is. You need to get a police officer first. Blue, oh, oh, just yeah. If it's blue, then it's like you can pretty much, like, it's it's not adding any extra challenge to whatever it is you're carrying. Like you can still drop it if you like fuck up, but it's just like good hardy ground that you can walk on. But if it's yellow, it's like a, a bit slippery, or you might like might be steep a little bit and red's like real steep like a rock or something and if you fuck up your footing like you can pull over really easy. Um uh, I wouldn't say you'd die, I mean if, if it was like a fucking like cliff or something, yeah. But um there's more yellow shit around here so I'm just gonna make sure to avoid that. The the yellow oh fuck. I don't know. There's like yellow poles Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, and there's like, there's like rivers and stuff you gotta cross through. And, like, it just, it tells you like, this thing's fucking dangerous. But you like, still have to get across it and you're just like, okay, well, I'll, I'll fucking go through and I'll hold my, my sleet, or like my, what do you call it? Like, your bag, um, shoulder fucking thing. What do you call it? Your straps. So you can like hold the straps and balance your load like I'm doing now. But it uses up your stamina heaps as well. So like small missions are fine because you just like basically sprint through it holding the straps and you'll balance not too bad. But for long missions you end up your stamina goes down and then all of a sudden like even a small load's like real hard to carry. I don't know, it's like a big show off of all these like interdependent systems that all mean something right down to like how hard you hold a joystick sort of thing. I don't know. Whoa. I hope I'm going the right fucking way. It's weird, like, as you're going around the terrain and you're, like, spotting dangers and stuff, or maybe even, like, good paths through through areas, you'll find signs that other people have put, and you can put signs there as well, and when you come past 
a sign you can like spam the touchpad and it like gives them heaps of likes as if as if it's like they're on Facebook and you're giving reputation to sort of like the, the warnings and stuff that they've given you and every other player so you if you find a good route as well and you chuck a sign down then like people going and using that will like yeah will, will probably be like fuck yeah like thanks dude like I'll respect that sign so it's, it's like, it's relying on like the common decency of the society rather than like the bad shit. Like if people didn't work together at all, then it probably wouldn't help like work. Might like... What, how much is the game on the store? What? So you can like sit down and have a breath and like build your stamina back up and you can just kind of chill out and look at them. Now. Oh yeah. I feel yeah. like I feel like it's hard to compare them. Like I think it could be, especially like the PC version. Anyway, so we'll see how that's going for me. That's a rope over there. Yeah, me either. Oh fuck. So check this out. I can I can get a ladder out and place place that somewhere and it will make my path and the next person's path a lot easier up this steep fucking mountain. It's offline but connects. I, I, I don't know if there's future online stuff to come. Yeah, it's yeah, it's more about the community than it is about like playing alongside them. Um too close. Okay. It's just like I don't the kind of mind that sits there going like I'm gonna make a game where you carry shit, and I'm gonna make it somehow like super realistic, and in other ways like the most bizarre thing you've <laughs> ever fucking seen. You carrying, dude? Like a lot, man. <laughs> I fucking. Oh fuck me! I don't. Hmm. You don't have to balance that shit on you, do you? As well. Yeah, man. Oh fuck! It's full so, on. Let's um. Can I get that shit out? Yeah. All right. So I can place a climbing anchor, and then use use that rope and fucking like. What the fuck, fuck is going on? Oh, what? Wait, how much is it? This game? Yeah. I think it's, yeah, about a hundred. But the rope ends here. So, I'll probably make... Grab another one and go down this one as well. And someone else will find this path and be like... So, to... I mean, I could put a sign there to <clears throat> help them out a bit more, but they should be able to see the rope itself anyway. Give me likes to that. So would you type it on your phone, change you for it? For this... 
Yeah, sadistic oh, okay. justice with a, uh, a space in between. Alright, uh, no worries, I'll do that in a second. And sadistic um, ends in a K, not a C. What, is it spelled different to what it's on PS? No, no, it's the same as this, but like, you know, if you're spelling sadistic the way that it's yeah. normally spelled, then... Alright, here we go. You ready? I'm almost down to like half stamina, so it won't be long before I'll just really struggle. I might even just have some. They got monster energy drink in this. Can you drink yeah. that? Um. Like it looks like okay, he's got it in some kind of canister on the travels, but when you get back to his room, he's got a table, and it's just got monster drinks on it, and they look. Fucking real as fuck. Like I know it's just like a small little thing, but like, oh shit! I feel like by the end of this game, I'll be carrying this shit, sprinting down these hills, and have like a machine gun in both arms, firing at like monsters popping up everywhere. Like I don't see any other way that this gameplay could change other than having guns and having shit popping out of me all the time. I mean, I'm sure he'll surprise me. But... Anybody hear me? Oh. I'm Sam! I'm Sam. Anybody hear me? Well, he ran away. He ran away. I'm Sam! And I'm on a time limit. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> what level are you now, Sims? <laughs> No, 15, wasn't it? Yeah, so whenever I click R1, you can get like a read out of place and sometimes you like you'll be relying on it so hard. And other times you'll just like be running along going like, oh like I, I can kind of can like assume now that this kind of terrain's not so bad. Like I mean, it's just grass. Usually you just fucking run through grass on any other game, but like it builds up a sort of anxiousness about like what you meant to be doing. All right, we're back on. See you. See you back in the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Tell me time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, I might. No, take. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's you're damaging the cargo more than anything. Well, how much cargo? How much more cargo do you need? Um, it's not so much just about collecting as much as possible. It's more, it's just about like this mission in particular. I've gone and picked something up, like confidential information or some confidential documents, <laughs> and. <laughs> And that's in amongst a bunch of other shit that I've like picked up along the way and stolen from the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so... Like, all the things that you build for yourself, they have they make for themselves as well, and there's like, different so, quality so levels and stuff. So many cities is there? So coming in some sort of like, city. Well, I think this is... the biggest city that I've been to so far. Like, it is actually... I don't know, it's like the places I go to... Hmm. Like, they talk about it being like a bunker, like a, a place where like all these people are, but you only ever speak to one person and it's like a hologram, so it's like a hologram of that person. So it's like they're 
they're too afraid to even come outside to talk to me. And, mm. and the characters I have actually met, you know, it's just like one or two people at a time, and that's meant to represent like a city or something. So I don't know if the population's just become that small, that, that they're the only people there, but it, it seems to me like there are more people around, I just like haven't witnessed them and they don't it's like there's a it's a bit like um blade runner where it doesn't tell you what the fuck's going on and it just throws you into this world and you've got to slowly figure out what's yeah. happening and what the world's about i think that's what's going on here like there's this things that are apparent to all the people in the game but they haven't spoken about it yet so you haven't like figured out what it's about I mean, like, this place seems like a reasonable-sized facility. And then when you get in, like, all I saw was, like, one or two rooms. And I met the president, who you find out is a woman. And she's the president of America, but, like, America can barely be called America anymore because, like, the whole country's just fallen to shit. <laughs> So they're like, you know, some people don't even call it America anymore because it's like, it's already destroyed. Yeah. Um, whereas the president's like, nah, like, we need to rebuild America and we need to, like, get it connected to the rest of the world and get everyone, Sam, Sam, I don't know, Sam, like, just... Like, Sam's here, they're coming for you. This guy's on a horse, man. I could use a horse right now. Yeah, so there was a bike earlier, but it's like batteries drain. It's the only one besides the one that you, you, you crash right at the very beginning of the game, like in the cutscene. Um, so other than that broken one, there's just yeah one without a battery, and I haven't figured out how to charge the battery yet. So we're in this place, and it's like big enough to store like fucking jet planes. And, you know, if this was Star Wars, there'd be, like, characters running left, right, and center everywhere. But <laughs> you just run up, and there's a terminal, and there's, like, basically, like, a mail... Like an airport mail luggage system. So here's a character. His name's Mr. Diehard Man. But the weapons should come in handy if any stray too close. How old is this guy? Oh, it just came out like a week ago. Traveling outside the city yeah. limits. The shipment also includes a variety of medicines so as well as human sperm and eggs. A variety of medicines as well as human These sperm and for something. Genetic diversity as they were donated by civilians living outside the major population centers. By taking advantage of Kyrelium's temporal properties, we can ensure they remain viable for as long as required. Here? After the shipment's been processed, connect the Cupid. Now, once that's done, the entire region will be integrated into the Cairo network. Afterwards, you'll be pushing on to Lake Knot City. So, we've included relief supplies for the people there as well. Of course, to get there, you'll need to cross over the lake in between. I cross over a lake Details now. on that will be in a second order you'll need to accept then. Without a doubt, this will be your longest run for us to date. Make sure you've got everything you need. <laughs> These things, bro. So I was carrying 106.8 kilo on my back. And well, have you ever used one of those um like furniture removal um what do you call it? Like like a rope thing, but it's flat, and you like tuck it like around your elbows and up to your hand, and you can like carry really heavy shit really easy with two people. Like they're just, they're just like fabric strap thing, like strengthened in a certain way. And you're well, like, kill this dude. you can carry, yeah, just like massive bookshelves and not bookshelves, but like, 
you know, like cupboards and shit like that. And it's like he's almost got like. Yeah. It's almost got like he's got like reinforced or like astronaut fucking seating strapped to his back and then he like seats the things onto that. Oh, it hasn't told us. I'm thinking it's like a few hundred years from now. Maybe. Or like, yeah, the whole like terrain of Earth seems to be different, you know what I mean? Like, Hey, I'll get him, I'll get him, I'll get him. <laughs> yeah, cheese can't normally out of you. No worries, buddy. While I review the details, Port Knot City's your first destination. You're to deliver relief supplies and bring it into the network. Lake Knot City is your second destination. Again, you'll be delivering relief supplies. You'll also be carrying prototype anti BT weapons, no, which no. will give us a chance weapons. to see how they perform in the field. My prototype weapons. Usage, so pay close attention. And oh, shit. Sam, as a reminder. This run is no joke. You'll be covering a record distance. Don't take any chances. Um. Yeah, so I was saying, like, I met the president, found out it's chick, found out the country's fucked, and then found out she's also the main character's mother, and he's been really distant with her, and, like, he's hated it, hated her for a years of their life or something and she just wants him to do this one this one mission thing that she entrusted to her daughter because he wouldn't take it on but now she wants you to help her and he's like and then she died and then he's like oh well i may as well like do this as a favor to her for a dying wish even though he's like basically hated her the rest of his life. It's almost like it's yeah, it's like a big metaphor for reconnecting with the people around you and your family and like as humanity. Because she's like his mum and the president. Like, what's the chances of that? It just it all seems so surreal that it, it couldn't just be like you know something they made up just on the spot. Like it's like got some core meaning to the rest of it. Blood That's bag. a transfusion bag containing blood drawn from you. While equipped, it'll gradually replenish yours. So while I've got this blood bag equipped... Okay. Okay, it'll replenish my blood. If I'm losing it. So it's like having a drip already plugged in. Like a, a blood bag drip, I don't know weird like why am i losing blood that tells me that like some fuck's gonna happen next like i'm gonna be attacked in some new way and then it's hermetic grenade sam this is our first attempt at developing an anti-bt weapon oh, that's good. i had to work that's good. fast with what we had so they're basically modified hand so grenades good. at least that's how they're meant to function they've never actually been tested in the field who knows? You might be the first person to kill a BT. And wouldn't that be something? Jumble so, me horse, bro. even if they do work, don't forget that they're Jumble fueled by your blood. Sandy. Use too much, and you'll give yourself anemia. So, Jumble me horse. You're right. Yeah, that's what I said, Jumble me horse. I've got, um... 
Whiskey got... Peel is quickly. I've got my first fucking grenade in the game, so I can kill mon monsters, but they're fucking made. F the the grenades are made from my own blood, so I can kill them with my with my bodily fluids. But if I do it, it's like taking health off me while I'm doing it. So yeah, well, so far I've basically had a vial of my own piss and semen and fucking dead skin. And now I'm getting a grenade filled with my own blood. Like, what the fuck? It's just... Um, you, you do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> um, how many do I require of the? I don't know. I just go a bit overkill, and then I'm carrying too much shit. But I mean, I mean, bags of blood seem pretty important all of a sudden. And they're only a kilo each, so what if I take 10 of those? And I go... I don't know, fucking how many... Oh, I guess I bet I want plenty of fucking grenades, so not only in case shit goes haywire. But I don't know. Let's start with... 15 kilo? I might get more blood bags. Let's go 15 kilos of those. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> Delivery preparation. I have on my back. Aid, sperm and eggs. So I've got like the ability for like people to repopulate their cities and stuff. Like they were saying something about like when you reconnect places, not only are you just like giving them something at the time and learning something new, you're like re you're like everything from the past that was lost you're re putting into place. So it's, it's like all history and culture and like people and everything that's gone from this world can be loaded back in by the things I'm doing. So, just to like fuck with your head a bit. Whoa, how heavy is that? That just put me up to fucking 105 kilo. Fuck, I thought this was going to be cruisy. What else do I have in my fucking bag? I don't know how much of this shit I want now. <laughs> I've got shit everywhere. Um, I guess I can put it over there. Utility pouch, okay. Okay, I can work with that. Okay. Um. So I was crossing the road and I was seeing the coming to like spin the grass a bit. No. Sperm and eggs, medicine pack, 
anti-BT weapon. I still don't know what BT stands for, but it's... There's another monster I didn't mention. It's like... Sounds like a fucking giant gorilla. It's standing right in front of you. And it's walking around, but the only thing you can see of it... Is it's handprints in the ground, and they look like human handprints. Yeah, right. And I feel as though it's meant to be dead people, like their spirits all turned bad and gone against you, because... How do I explain that? Like, when, when people died in the game so far, it was as if once they died it showed their hands being the monster's hands. Like, oh, that's real. Yeah, and like, a baby died in that scene as well. A baby that we've got, like, strapped to our chest so we can see the monsters. And once the baby died, the handprints of the monster, there were, like, little baby handprints as well. So it's like, it's just like all the dead people are being, like, sucked into this, like, fucking demon thing or something. I don't know. Well, I've got a feeling I've got way too many, like, blood bags and shit. Mule boot, okay. Um. I feel like I've still got too much shit on me, like, I need to go... No, I'll just... Do it, and then hopefully those items will like pick back up again. Look how fucking heavy it is for him now. Like he just gets up and he's like, "What the fuck?" Order assigned. So I'm gonna try and get rid of some more shit. Metals. Um. See, I've got the confidential documents, and I thought I'd taken it to the right place. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Meal boots, metals, resins, resins. Where are you going, bro? Blab. <laughs> oh no, they're locked, yay! Okay, so I'm down to 69 kilo. Let's do it. Give me kills. <laughs> yeah, you. I'm gonna be quicker getting on the horse. So I'll put one in this. Put one in it. I don't want to get in. Hey, come on, bro. He's getting away, bro. I gotta go. Gotta go. Should we kill this one? What do you reckon? Maybe we can kill him. <sighs> Beer would go down alright right now, I reckon. I might pour yeah, myself so a whiskey. Nah, I haven't even... Oh shit. Shame, man. Nah, I'll be honest, but it's still the same fucking as it was before, bro. Not really changed. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank I, you, I, I, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm up a level, mate. You're two levels above me, mate. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna go pull myself a drink. Yeah, dude. Fuck, I could do with a drink as well, eh? Yeah. It's like a bev. Nothing like a bev. Mmm. Oh, we gotta go to Blackwater, that's where I was going anyway, man. Yeah. No. Yeah, it really just doesn't mean you can't host them. Because remember I was doing a review and I was doing, going up on my thing. It's still going up, dude. You just can't do it by yourself. That's all it means. Unless you want to spend 15 gold. Bro, yeah. Oh, we don't know taking me. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, watch it on the side when I bring in Minia. Watch it on the side. Look. Check out his wing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do a double one? Actually, I will do this one. Yeah, we'll go there. You're killing it, mate. You're killing it. another grenade from taking a shower. <laughs> you want to see my baby? I haven't even shown you my baby yet. Yeah, it's like they connect into your suit. Oh, yeah. Now check this out. So, it's... It's like babies can like sense, um, they can like sense the monsters and you, oh, I think it's just like the suit connects you in with what they can sense. So like whatever they perceive, you can kind of perceive it too. And you get like visions of what the baby's seen before. And the baby's seen Mad, Mad Meckelson, you know that actor? He's playing some character, and I've yet to actually like meet him or anything yet. But the baby's seen him, and it looked like he was trying to protect the baby from someone. And it's like he looks like a bad guy in the trailer, yet to the baby he's like this father figure type thing. And you're like, fucking, what's going on? So here's the monster drink I was talking about. Like, look how legit that looks. And you can, you can oh, drink yeah. it. Let's check this shit, like, the, even the foe. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Monster drinks. Yeah, it's like, it's advertising for them. Like, like maybe. The fucking graphics. And there's sunnies there I can chuck on. Huh? Look at these yeah, sunnies. The table and that, man. Look at the table and shit. Like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Look at his face here, though. Like. Ooh. <laughs> yeah.
So I thought they'd be making it longer, but it's been since their company started. I'm not sure how long it's been. Maybe it was pretty much as soon as Metal Gear was was made, the last one. They kicked Hideo Kojima out of the company. Oh, sh check this shit. What's this? This is what the world looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. It was just one big continent. And do you know what this is? There's Matt. I'll show you the real thing soon. I promise. He looks pissed off. What's going on, Mads? The whole wide world will be yours to explore. You'll be able to go wherever you want. Even the moon. Yeah, man. I don't know what the Oh shit, here we go. Uh, 84 kilo, I can handle that, I think. Sam. Sorry. The base. Might be worth taking a look. Um. Still trying to figure out what you mean exactly. You mean like stuff to buy? Are you watching it, Jerry? Hmm. Fuck, bro. You should 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 be watching it on your phone or something. Um. No, I think you're right, like, I think he has, like, he's increased it a little bit so far. Maybe it was from, like, 115, 125 or something. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a bit of a track. I think it wants me to go way over whoop whoop as well. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it wants, okay, so, basically wants me to go from, like, the first city that I started in to the last city that I've got to in like one journey sort of thing one mission which yeah so I'm not picking shit up alright I've got 84 kilos on me I'm gonna keep it at that and I'm just gonna go for a, like a jog that's, that's what a I'm doing a jog a jog go for a jog yeah mate oh shit 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 yeah. Fuck. remember not to like use this shit while I'm running Oh. It's capital, not city. Port, not city. Okay, so. Should have done it in here. Alright, so. Go from Sam. Oh. Fuck. To. That place. And then from there. Whoop, you whoop. Fucking way over what did up there. Like, I feel like either I'm spot on with a lot of the stuff I've said, or I'm like absolutely going fucking nuts and I'm just seeing into it like way too much stuff. I don't know if my interpretation of what's going on is right or not. But I mean, Someone could probably go into it more, and other people could go less, and who knows what they originally intended. Have a pleasant journey. Sam, looks like you've got some more orders to take care of. Yep. Remember, once you get to Port Knot City, you'll be crossing the lake. So you should make any pending deliveries before then. Take a look at your map and figure out the most efficient way to get to all the places yeah. you need to go. Yeah, 
who the Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Well, they give me sperm and eggs for my next, like, delivery, and I'm like, what the fuck? How many games even have the word sperm in them, you know, like... Well... I don't know, I mean, it's, I don't know what you mean by worse, you mean, like, most crass? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a good game. They're way better than the original South Park games that came out, like, in 64 and shit. Did you guys play those? Yeah. Like, the first person shooter one where you're throwing snowballs at, like, giant turkeys and shit, like, what the fuck? South Park. Mm. So this, yeah, I remember that shit. These rivers would be slippery to go through, but like I'm sort of just holding my shit together. And it's not a big river, but some rivers where you're like barely touching the bottom for a while. Anyway. Um. Do you always have to be carrying something on the back? Pretty much. Like. The missions so far where I haven't started off with something on my back, I've had something on my back by the end of it. Mm. And if it's not part of the mission, then I can like be carrying extra shit to like make points for when I get back. There we go. <laughs> yeah. This is a construction zone. I can build a... I mean, I don't need this here, do I? I'm not gonna waste it yet. Yeah, I mean, I th I'm pretty sure vehicles are coming. Like, a bike is coming, and I think I saw, like... Just is this a quick... online, this game? Yeah, it's, it's online, but it's, like, not... It's not like you're playing with other people. It's like they're... It's like they're in the space, but like, in another fucking dimension or something. Oh, okay. So they leave things behind, they might like leave ladders and shit like that behind. But, yeah. I'm not seeing them directly. Maybe later it'll happen. Hmm. There's a sign coming up here. So, when I, with this sign here, it shows like a storm cloud for some reason. So maybe the weather's about to change, which is not good for me. But I can like spam the like button as well and give this person, Nick Easton, a bunch of likes. And yeah, like the, the higher your reputation, like the more things you unlock sort of thing. See, there's a ladder over there, but I feel like even that's like a way more of an effort than just going up this hill over here. I don't know, I think like the system of having you sort of making decisions from afar means that the shit that gets left behind are by people making similar decisions as you. Mm. So like at this point I've got this much shit on my back and I'm going over, I'm going over an area that I've already been before. So it's like there, last time I went up that hill, my priorities were different from what they are now. And so I'll be doing different stuff, and like taking different paths, and... It might have been that there was monsters sitting there at one point, so everyone was like, get the fuck away from there. Hmm, I'm not sure if I should go up this rocky bit, or just go up the green grass, I suppose. 
stick with the grain. Imagine like what the map design is, what must have been like making this game. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like w he did made an engine for Metal Gear in which he could build a game basically on it, like with a lot of detail and. I feel like he's had to rebuild that engine. Oh fuck. Rebuild that engine again for this in a new company, but now he's like figured all the kinks out and he can make it like fucking real spot on. Well, like, I don't know, I mean, this is... I, I just feel like the engine itself could be getting a workout by any other type of game he wanted to use it on, but he just happened to want to make a game about delivering stuff. <laughs> you know, like, we could be in a ship with pirates or something, or we could be... Thank <laughs> you, you're like the ultimate bad guys at the end of fucking Amazon, and, um, you have to... You have to beat the boss who's the CEO. <laughs> it's weird, like, too, like, I'm, I'm putting a rope down so I can, or I'm, I'm climbing down a rope down a cliff, which is en energy efficient, but you can climb up the same ropes, like, by hand with a load of however many kilos on your back and it just like eats through your stamina like crazy so it's like he's strong enough to do it but like do you really want to sort of thing I'd probably make you fall no. Like yeah, very similar to Metal Gear in that way, like, it'll show you a bunch of things and then it'll let you figure out how they work. And if you, if you avoid something for ages, you might never know what happens if you fuck it up. Which is good because your points will be great for, for ages, but it'll be bad because when it does happen, you'll be like, what the fuck's going on? What do I do? Like, can I recover? It's good to like try out and kind of like fuck up at little things as you go. Mm. Yeah, so look at this fucking. This is a lake, or this is a river, so this is gonna be a. Yeah. Oh. See if I can build a bridge here. I'm not sure if I can, but um, all right. Oh, yeah. can I build a bridge here? Ooh. Yes. No. Yes. Thousand something or others. Bridge. Yeah. Like, maybe... Oh, there's a bridge over there. Oh, that's next to... I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, it would be good for someone. At some point. But... Or I can just, like, travel over to this bridge. And... Um... What's that a thousand? I think it's metal, which is a fair bit. Considering there's a bridge there, it might be worth just... But it's like it, it's like this hill was designed for me to put a bridge on it. You know what I mean? It's like, eventually you're going to want to use this path, so... I don't know if it's anyone else at 
at all or whether it like puts you into like little networks with your country or yeah because otherwise there'd just be like already hundreds of thousands of fucking things like um and how far do i have to go like this is only just the start like i may as well get to this fucking place as easy as possible and then when i go to there if i have to use resource along the way and so be it but i mean I'll get a rest there, so might as well go way up the average and get rid of this shit in my hand. Too close. So you can carry shit on your back. You can like strap it to different parts of your suit. You've, there's like a new pocket I can use at the front, and then you can also like hold it with your hands as well. But if you hold something in your left hand, then you're like like constantly having to counterbalance it to the right. So you're better off just like having something in both hands but then your stamina and everything's going down at the same time like. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, it just makes every tiny little thing like a giant decision. Where is my destination at? Uh, yeah. It's not too far, I mean. Uh. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean. Why just cross this little fucking bridge over here instead of going a little massive one? Someone's just put basically a ladder across the bridge. At its smallest What's part. What's that blue ray thing doing? Blue it's ray? Like it's like fucking... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this has got a lot of like red around so it's real slippery. You've got to like yeah, walking okay. and like... Harnessing your stuff. Yeah, okay. It's a good Thanks bridge, so I might as well like that while I'm here. So he had 527 likes on his bridge, so that tells me like, I, th I think, I think you can like, you can like spam it and do up to like 80 fucking likes in a spot. Like, it is not fucking. Sometimes it only lets you go up so high. I think it's like. If it's still really fresh, then you can't add heaps of likes, but if it's like had a few already to it, then you can just like spam the shit out of it more. It's like, yeah, crewing interest or something. It's like some mathematical term to describe what I'm trying to think of right now. This one's for you. So, how do you know where you're going? You, you set like waypoints on the map, and then you can also like. Have like a little... when you scan it, you can see where you're going. Well, not, no, not, not really. Point. It's, it's showing me just the terrain, but like, on, the, oh, I've got a map, I'll show you in here. I've got like a map of everywhere I've been. And I can like oh, okay. set a waypoint at that spot, and I can set like a path from me to that thing. Oh, so there's, so there's like, waypoint lines between stuff as a straight line so it shows you how like the crow would fly between those cities but in between yeah, okay. there's like all different ranges and mountains and stuff so you might want to just like take whatever seems to be the easier path yeah. or the or the quickest path depending on what you're doing and yeah, then um yeah so it's guiding you but it's like you don't have to stick to it exactly what is joe So I'm back at like where I met the president. I've got a feeling it's where I've been before. I mean, it might be other people. Could be other people. I'm not sure.
plate or whatever. So, that was the mission I did earlier and I didn't like actually finalize it, I just kept going. So that's good, get that off my shoulders literally. Just about given up on seeing this again. Let's not uh, judge a book by its cover, though, huh? Let me take a closer look. I never really looked at the confidential. Very, very nice. It's exactly like I remember it. <laughs> Talk about lucky. Mm -hmm. feel like, yeah, I could have just done that mission a lot quicker if I knew to, like, offload those things. But, man, I can't keep up when there's so much weird shit going on. There's a lot of text in it as well, and it doesn't, like, necessarily guide you as to which bits uh, you meant to be focusing on. Now, expert handler. More successful deliveries will earn you greater trust and respect. Okay, yeah, but... You've reached miscellaneous grade 20, you'll now receive more likes. Okay. So I guess, yeah, you can... Now that I'm that, people can spam my shit more and give me... Higher stuff. Forget exactly what you trade for, I though. There are few bona fide treasures left in this world. And you just saved one of them. Thank you. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's almost like an ant co colony simulator. We're all following the path like, like given to us by the queen ant, but if we drop shit, then we can like have other ants go pick it up, or we can have we can go pick up other ants' shit. Yeah, I'm still doing bounties, bro. Yeah, true, dude. You gotta, you gotta think heaps, though, hey, what you're doing with that game. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if you have to think heaps or I'm just like, you know, over things. Yeah. Over thinking. I, I, I think there's people that can play through this game and completely not even understand yeah. anything about it. Yeah, that's what I mean. And that's where I think the bad reviews would come from, like people who just see it as like this chore of like carrying shit places but not understanding like what it's saying about the world. None of you guys played Metal Gear. No. Is it like this? Or similar? Well, I, th I think it, it handles similarly, like, his animations yeah. and the way he moves and stuff. But, like, Metal Gear's a full military, you know, like, infiltrate yeah, yeah, and yeah. blow shit up game, so... I don't know if this will ever, like, reach that type of gameplay or whether it's gonna, like avoid that kind of thing completely. Yeah. Well, I mean, there has been yeah. stealth involved. Yeah. But, 
I think that's just a matter of like you can play the game however you want to play it. Do you know how far in you are? You need to go? Nah, I honest, I've been playing it for like maybe 10 hours now. So it's like it's still like reasonably slowly building up like what's going on. Yeah, okay. And even like every after every couple of missions, like my ability to do new things increases in a completely new direction. Like now I've got grenades, where before I was like, you know, never had a weapon. Okay, so if I stick between those two lines, I should should be a, a good array of paths. Boots become damaged the more you run. And you can build new boots and steal them from enemy camp. So far, I haven't. Maybe the more damaged the boot is, the worse, like, yellow terrain will affect you. Mm. Like, red terrain, you'll just slip on real quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my baby. I might just check on him because apparently it helps, like, keep him good if you, like, check on him and soothe him and, oop. So, I'll check on the bubby, soothe him, and then you actually, like, rock the jo controller itself and it rocks the baby. Alright. And he blows out love heart bubbles at you. Alright. Uh. Nah, I think if you like, let go of certain buttons, that would just... Good, nah, that was a good one. Maybe you're a water-type Pokemon. Uh. Apparently this new Pokemon game coming out is like pissing a bunch of people off. Or, uh, they're like cutting out half the Pokemon, Pokemon in the universe, like the game whose catch line has got to catch them all and then they like just decide, oh, to, to be able to build all the models, we want to like cut out m like more than half of the fucking Pokemon in it. I mean, like, it kind of depends if you're into Pokemon or not, whether or not this means anything to you at all, but like... Uh, I, I used to play it back in the day, like the Game Boy game. I yeah. think this new game is meant to feel the same way that that game did, but like with good graphics and up-to-date yeah, okay. shit. Up, What's it you coming know. on? Just Nintendo? Um... Good question. Nice. Not sure. I thought... That... Well, they made it on 3DS Max already. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking they're just like making like a, a Switch console version that yeah. um that's like all pumped up and beefy instead of being like a Game Boy game. And um, even though it's like super childish and stuff, like the only game that I've ever had the patience to like actually have turn-based shit in it, if you know what I mean. Mm. Like, Final Fantasy and stuff, I know they were good games, people swear by them. But I just never yeah. could like be bothered with the turn-based battles and shit. Mm. Whereas like, Game Boy Color back in the day, when like, you had fucking Pokemon Yellow, Red and Blue and then Next lot came out, silver. gold and silver, yeah. And then wasn't there like other ones as well? Yeah, they bring out crystal after that. And I yeah, actually, right. I, I got that one. 
I like that one, but yeah, after that I'm like, no, this is fucking going too far. <laughs> well, there's only so many times you can go around and collect every little fucking, like, yeah. rock mon and paperclip mon and fucking everything that's like... But yeah, I don't know, that's a good game. It was, like, surprisingly a long and detailed sort of, like, campaign for a Game Boy game. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Like, there's games out now that can't hold your attention as long as like, what that did. When that yeah. came out. Ten, like, twenty years ago. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Rock up early to fucking primary school so you can catch up with your Pokemon mates and play shit and like swap Pokemon and battle each other. Like just having a device that could connect to someone else's device was like holy shit. Whereas like now like everyone's online together all the time and if it wants to like if you want to connect to someone else it's like as simple as just clicking on their fucking name. I guess. That looks fucking... That looks steep as fuck, man. I don't know if I should just go around the mountain. Or... I should go around the mountain. I don't need to be going up this mountain. Why don't they mark it up after this show? It is pretty fucking late. So. I don't do it now. I'm not gonna get a chance. Yeah. Baby will wake up, be crying, and Mister will be like, want me to do shit. Do you plan on going to see Terminator tonight, though? Uh -huh. I saw that it was out, and I'm like, I don't want to go too long. I'll see too many fucking spoilers and shit. Oh, there's the yellow thing. Yeah, no, look, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't want to go into it without, like, pre-empting it being just amazing, because I don't want to be disappointed. I can terminate it, like, they haven't done an awesome job with, like, the last bunch that they made, like, the first one or two were the shit. But James Cameron's directing this one again, so who knows? Oop. raining so it's damaging all my shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not picking anything up because I'm tired of having just too much shit on my back. Oh. 
Well, check this shit out, alright? Um, there's fucking... There's fucking monsters around this area. So... Yeah, the baby sensed it, and it's like, I think it's like turned on... Turned on, like, my little... No, it hasn't yet. If, when I get closer again, see all the grass is dying? Like, anything near these monster things just is death, like it becomes death. Here we go, and here's my sensor thing that the baby can activate. And it shows me, like, how far away they are and what distance. You don't want to be too loud around them, otherwise they'll come towards you. So I can't even see it at the moment. All I all I know is how what where the, which direction the closest one is, and the more it blinks, the closer I am to it. But once it figures out where I am, it like attacks, and you can see shit. And yeah, it's like they're trying to drag you to hell or something. Oof. I don't know, it sort of started me off in an area where I can only go one so certain way. But it looks like, see, when I when I look at this area here, when I, it shows me these completion things sometimes, and that map actually goes like way out. Well, like what I'm looking at now is just sort of like the edge of a continent. I'm pretty sure it lets you go like across like the whole continent. Let's see if I can stand up. Oh. Yeah. I think they like you know, made different things you could interact with and made tested it, made sure it worked good and then they just like painted it across the whole landscape. Alright, these guys are getting intense now. Like oh, they're getting close. Think you were afraid. Ooh. He's, he's got me ping. But I find there's usually like a whole wall of them and you've gotta like find a way to get between them somehow. Otherwise you'll end up just walking around for ages. Oh shit, which way are they looking? That way. My baby's starting to make fucking strong noises. I think it's fucking real close to me. The more shit you're carrying, the harder it is to see where the sense is pointing. I remember this area being full of shit anyway. I probably should just like try to avoid it. But it's like the more direct path, I think. You were afraid. I just have a quick squeeze to make sure I'm going exactly where I want to go. So there's that place there. That would be in, like a nice spot to rest. So maybe I'll. Hurry up and die, built this. I think I'm pretty safe now. Yeah, 
man, it's fucking bizarre. I just want to show you like a proper cutscene because some of the cutscenes have been like real trippy. All right, so I'm out of the, out of the range of the monsters, so it wasn't the most interesting um, interaction. Yeah, they like once they know where you are, they like the ground around you turns to tar, and there's like these like like dead beings like trying to drag you down into the tar with them, and you'll drop your shit, and like you have to like sh like shove them off of you and like hit them off. And if you're doing that, yeah, it's like a, a combination of trying to balance all your shit, smack them off, and like get out of that spot before you. You're just too stuck. I haven't seen him get like attacked per se in any other way, except um, yeah, we're like in a vehicle and they like, oh, they like took the vehicle out by like, by like smashing into the side of it. Um, and yeah, like some dude like ends up underneath the vehicle and he's screaming and shit and he's trying to like hold his breath so he's not making a noise but these things hear him and like grab him drag him away and his mate just like pops one in his head just so he doesn't have to fucking die like the way they want him to die and then the other guy gets taken and he's like being dragged off into the sky by like, and then like all this shit goes haywire and there's just like this giant fucking god thing standing there just like sucking everything into itself I don't know, it's just weird it's fucking weird man um lost cargo That's I feel like by the time I get to the the big place I'm meant to be delivering all this shit to, they have to give me like a a cutscene and a bit of an explanation or something by that point. Yeah, the names of characters in this is like really weird too. Like you had Mr. Die Hard Man, and then there's Mr. Mr. Dead Man, and Mr. Something. Oh, and then you've got normal people like Benjamin Hancock. So, what the? Okay. I feel like every place I go has. Yeah, it just has shit for me to take for them. And it's not just like a, a normal game where it's like, here's a mission, go do that. When you get to that spot, we'll give you another mission. Like, every place wants you for different shit, and you gotta decide what you wanna do first and what route you take. Because if you can get a bunch of missions lined up and they all want something delivered in the same spot or the same route, then, you know, you're winning. But, like, at the moment, it just feels like I'm going different directions for different stuff. So I made that tower over there, and I made, I think, this bridge over here. So these bridges get built by, like, those, um, those, like, 3D printer things. Hartman. Your friend and fellow doom sufferer. Uh, um... Our affliction, such as it is, began with the beach, or rather, our discovery... <laughs> this guy sounds just like Once Brian Cox, you know that guy? The astrophysicist? It's almost like no they actually got him for the, the game, or they have trying their hardest to sound like him. While dead things beached things, Living began things to find their way back, and dead things... And then came dooms. And with it, a host of theories advanced by physicians and psychologists. 
desperate to explain the world's news mystery. The symptoms were duly categorized and stratified into levels. But oh, three music playing on this bridge. Are a singular rivalry, worthy of a classification all your own. The specialists must have been climbing over one another to get a look at you. <laughs> I wonder what they found. So it's quite the mountain to to get over to get to this place. No, I'm not sure which way is going to be the quickest. Hmm. Check it out. I might go that way. I'll remove that one. All these structures that you build out in nature, if as rain falls on them, they like slowly become damaged over time. So I think like there's certain things you can put down that will just be eroded. Maybe that's how they get around so many thousands of people playing the game and you only come across like, you know, what seems like 10, 20 people. It's like everyone who did it a week ago, like their bridge is already destroyed by the rain. Maybe a combination. These hills remind me of like Lord of the Rings or something. And they have like these giant battles with like the tree army and stuff. Yeah, it reminds me of New Zealand heaps. I still feel like there's more to come. Like everything's grass and rocks basically at the moment, but and, like little bits of things you can collect. But I think as you add things or install things or whatever, like maybe. All the trees will come back and all the flowers and like all the wildlife and everything. But who knows, it might be just like a dead world. Every once in a while you come past like a rusted out car. Like from hundreds of years ago, which is like today. So I just get a call. Like, oh fuck. I um there is like an email thing that I've been neglecting in this so far. Mail. Quality first. Oh, fuck man, a lot of text. Your mates online.
Yeah, the X. I don't... What, the... Him or... The time or what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you want to remember, like... Yeah. Yeah. What games did you play? Yeah, Dead by Daylight. Yeah. I think... Oh, shit. Um... Fucking the container of sperm and eggs and shit and all that just got destroyed. I'm bailing, boys. So... Hey dude. Yeah, hey man. I think this way I can solve it, man. Uh, not a Not. Yeah, I, I think like, people need to remember like the reason we're playing the game in the first place is like chill out. And. I think a lot of people spend like their all their social life is online with people in the game. Yeah. 
He probably interacts with his friends in a much different way to what a lot of other people do. mention like say any of this or is this like just stuff that you sort of like Maybe. Man, like yeah is real close to me. I don't know which way I should go, like, closer to them seems like fucking murder. But, like, I feel like I'm sort of, like, cornering myself up a mountain and... Oh, and this fucking shit's falling apart on my back, too, like... Yeah, sorry to... Yeah. Come on, get up there. Here we go. Yeah, so all well, my shit's done, so by the time I get there, I think I like, they basically want me to sprint it there. And it's like heavy as fuck, so I don't know, I think I have to like become less cautious when it comes to certain things and just take more risks. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I felt like shit, it's like a fair, it's a longer distance than they've ever got me to go, so I'll just like, light my load, and just take it easy through the whole place, but, I don't know, maybe I should. Ooh. Same time, I just want to like bump into them to show you what the fuck it's all about. I 
One thing I can do is like hold my breath. They're real close. Like they're getting pretty close now. I think I'm holding my breath. Okay, so the chiral network. I'm not sure if that's what helps me sense them. And if so, then I'm like, I have to get back on the other side of that line. I'm sensing them now. Oh, it's getting pretty fucking close. It heard me. I think it's like coming towards me. A bit like bird box in a way, did you ever see that? Yeah, it was different. Fuck, how much more of this mountain have I got left to go? I don't think I've reached the peak of it yet. I can go up to the right underneath that thing, or I can go straight up there, but I don't have enough ladders, so... Another thing I probably should have taken with me. That's what, like, the watchtowers are good for. It Like, you can see ahead of you what height the terrain is along the way. Well, like, up until now, I've been like... And like, why do I need to know this stuff? Or like, you know, like it's hard to put into context. What time is it? I got up. Um, fuck, it's hard to even put in the content. Um, it was not yesterday, the day before at 6 pm. That's when I woke up last. The heavy load on my back. Um, oh, no, I did have a sleep, but it was like from, oh, like 3 p.m. till like 6 or something. I had a nap and that's like giving me a power. I think, oh shit, I think because I get somewhat prepared for my night shifts in a, in a certain way, like, my body just thinks, oh, okay, so we're going to stay up, like, and prepare for the next one. Um, I work in security. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's like everything's a challenge. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I'm out of the danger zone. Oh, it looks like I'm on top of the mountain. Now I gotta make my way down and get to the city. I could use a little rest in his body so that it gets his stamina back. But I'm sitting in the rain. Maybe that's why it would have been better to go underneath. Massage his shoulders. Ah, oh, the rain stopped at least. And his hood automatically comes off. I just stretch the legs. Last shoulders again. So yeah, I'm pretty sure everything they wanted me to take there is like fucked. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be like a massive fan for this way. No rest for the wicked. I don't think that did much, so I'm gonna try and just drink some energy drink. Much better. Ooh. Okay, so you, okay, just auto puts a bit of music on. So that's a city in the background. Looks like it's got submarines and ships and stuff going on. This is one of the songs off the uh, soundtrack. I don't know if I should try sprinting down hills and say what happens if I fuck up because you could probably like cut a lot of time off if you're sprinting down these hills if you're confident doing it well, I feel like it's just designed to like throw you off a cliff and you're like no a lot of really like eerie songs on ooh, on the soundtrack does that just make you pause for a moment? There's a fair bit of pop on it as well, which really surprised me. And then they, and then they got like bands like, um, Bring Me the Horizon did a song for it. Yeah, I'll put it on next if it doesn't already. Building up a bit of momentum here. Ooh, ooh, I'm not gonna go down there like that. And I, I feel like Hideo, like the, the game developers, like went to these bands and said, "Here's some like topics about what the game's about." Can you make a song about it rather than just going, oh, that song sounds good, I'll use that. It's like, I mean, Bring Me the Horizon is literally singing about, like, the species of human he happens to be, and I'm like, that's, that's not a fucking coincidence. <laughs> like, they've gone to him and said, can you make this? I guess that happens a bit like, like, Slipknot will make a song about something that's they did the soundtrack song to that new like Netflix movie, what was it? Um the like the bad guys or whatever it's called. I can't think of what it is. It's like a like really adult superhero movie, but they're like the bad guys or something. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, like the big, it's a bit like, like Deadpool's an anti-hero and these guys are all anti-heroes too, and it's like from their point of view, but it's like a bit cheeky, but it's more about action and, and I don't know, 
I guess I should be just like taking advantage of this hill and like almost sprinting now. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I should. I can be confident doing that or not. So is that a bit of a path there? This music's got me going at the moment. You know a type of music that I never had any, any interest in now I'm like listening to it heaves. Retro wave. And there's like all different types, like you should check out the horror horror wave synth wave. Because it's like I don't know, like Dance of the Dead. No, it's well, I don't know. It's it's like 80s horror movie music. So it's like all synth and like almost. Okay. Oh, right. I get to this next little panel thing. I'll pop into YouTube. Perturbator seems to be like my favourite at the moment. Oh fuck man, oh, I've got no idea. Perturb, I think it's like... I don't know what that means to be honest, but it's like... I don't know, like to... I don't know. <sighs> All clear. Welcome, Sam like to be det perturbed is like... To, to be... Um, confused or like in shock or something like that. Perturbed, like can, yeah, confused maybe. So maybe it's I don't know. Like he's meant to challenge us. Or something. Let's see here. I delivered all the shit, but is it good enough for him? So he does that to our brains. <laughs> Another one that's good is um Carpenter Brute. <laughs> yeah. You seen that song Turbo Killer? Like the video clip? Man, watch that, it's just fucking oh it's cool. This is the big sock up. Grows in perfect condition. No more lie. That's some feet. He I Oh, you Dance of the Dead, The Shape? You retro wave, I'm pretty sure. Forty-three minutes. But is that the one you're talking about, or Dance with the Dead? That looks more like what you're saying. Oh. Oh yeah, so yeah, that... Yeah. There's The Shape, there's Loved to Death. And that's, yeah, I'll go to the actual, like, 
their channel and, and subscribe to them. No. Yeah. Yeah, cool. There's been like one go to horror wave thing I go to and it's like I don't know, like volume four or five and it's got like a blue I mean I've got our group, I can find it and just send it, but I find it's been the best so far. It's just each of the songs in it have just got like these cool grooves and I can keep listening to it over and over. Um Horror Wave. Yeah, it came from it came from the eighties volume volume six. It's got like a skeleton playing a violin on the front. Oh. recommend checking that out sometime, adding it to a playlist. Like it's got no visuals. I'll, I'll give you that Turbo Killer one as well, because that's like off of the cuts. If you like cars and stuff, I think. It's got like a real banging check in it. It's a um, Queens of the Stone Age remix, it's like Cynthia's. So I thought stuff I was carrying had been destroyed, but apparently they reckon it's in like perfect condition. I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe they gave me extras. But yeah, I thought like eight things all at once just said, nah, we're all fucked now. Maybe it's like they started to get damaged then. So you heard of Usher us into a new Cairo age or some shit? Hmm. Yeah. Is that cool? Hell yeah, go for it. Been waiting forever and a day for this. Mm. Check this cutscene. It's like putting this city online, the Coral Network. And this is like. Got, I don't know, it's like all their music and culture and language and writing and everything's like come back to them all in one go. Oh, it still doesn't show me who these people are. Or like. Holy shit. See, that's the size of the map, and that's how far I've gone so far. So I've almost made it, like, halfway, maybe like a third of the way across this continent, and in almost a straight line. Now they're all connected and they can talk to each other. And it shows me all the stuff that people have put there now in this spot. Where did you get that? That little 
guy. Talking about my bubby. Same as mine. Where the hell did you get it? Yeah, I can't really say. But the little guy, he came with the pod, if you gotta know. And who'd you get the pod from? Igor, from Corpse Disposal. My little brother. So, what? He just gave one of these to you. Why? Oh, I see what's happening. I was there with him, at the end. We were moving a body. Things went to shit. There's BTs everywhere. And one of them grabbed him. I've connected him. So he told me to take it and run. And now he knows the truth. He's like learned right. that his brother died with me. The, the more so I connect people, story? the you more the more they like that distrust that me because they're like, oh, you're linked to this one. stuff somehow. Okay. Been a long time coming, I suppose. You take good care of that little guy. He belongs with the expedition, with you. All right. Better could take this with you too, I reckon. Can't think of anyone who could use it more. What's he giving me? A new gun or something? Okay, medic grenades. Oh, the, like, blood grenade things, just more of those. I don't know where the fuck I'm going to put it there. See, yeah, I thought I'd be, I mean, I suppose I did run into monsters, but I just avoided them and didn't have to use my grenades. Probably should just use them, like, test them out. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's only, like, Seven kilos there. Not too bad. Sam, check. You've done it. That's this is meant to be my sister in the game. This community, a part of the Just like, yeah, the president's daughter. A part of our shared wisdom. With enough time and enough cargo printers, they'll be able to build ships. And one day, the waters will be ours again. All because you led the way. Though what follows in your wake isn't always good. Any city that joins the UCA becomes a bigger target for the terrorists. But we have to accept the dangers and press on. No matter what. The rest of America is waiting, Sam. Waiting for you to take the first step and connect them to the chiral network. I know you can reach them. Make us whole again. And so those those guys that are like beat up. Thanks. One more C in the UCA, huh? So you fix it across the lake and head west. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent but it's like no, I'd rather take no, our shit and stop us from doing stuff. Took out everything, bridges, but they're not, they don't work for the bad guys, I don't think. They're just like their own people. Carrier. Don't tell me. Fragile Express? That's the one. I already spoke with their rep. I'm having them load the boat with some of the supplies you brought us. I'll bet the folks in Lake Knott will be tickled pink to see someone come into port. Been a while, I expect. Head on down to the harbor when you're ready. It's right outside the distro center. Don't okay. worry, Port Knot never gets the rain. Feel free to rest up in your room before you head out. Ah. I think it's probably bedtime once this like saves and there's no other like cutscene going on.
Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. I think the thing to remember about this game is that... Like... The two guys that worked on it also worked on Silent Hill. Which was like one of the... One of the most like... Surreal horror games... Out there. And this is like... You know, and the other one was like a military game, so this is like going for something between the two. It's like a sci-fi, half horror. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I think it was uh, intended to do that by, by every means. I played, I never played through all, any of them except for number four, The Room. Oh, I thought that was really cool. I had like demos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the, f the first part of the game is like those ghost baby things that are like running around the hallways and you've got like a crowbar or something and, you, and a torch and it's like what the fuck am I doing and you smack them over and I don't think you can kill them and you just like keep smacking them and smacking them number four was yeah that was a good experience Describe this game. Where are you up to in the story? Um, I'm not 100% exactly. Um, I've been linking cities together, and they've been like telling me um shit about like what's going on in that, but like it's so hard to put together. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen like a big cutscene for a while. I just like still. I'm still just int introducing all the gameplay elements at this point. Yeah, quarter past six. I should probably uh get the hay. Oh, man. Yeah. Take it easy, bud. Yeah, you too. No worries. I do. Catch. I feel like the live stream's just picking up. Look at his feet and his crutch and zoom in. Okay. I know, I saw... <laughs> I saw someone like Hideo Kojima does stuff like this in his games. Like just the level of detail. I, I think I saw like a thumbnail of, of someone finding it. As in, um, in his last like Metal Gear game. Um... <laughs> It'd be a chick, and like, if you zoom in on their parts, then like, they react, and I don't know, he's always just been a bizarre fellow like that, I think it's like a bit of the, the Japanese culture, they just like, have a 
an interesting take on, I don't know, embarrassment and sexuality and all sorts of stuff. But it's, um, it's always interesting to, like, you know, try and interpret it and interact with it. Punches a camera, too. Is it like from looking at his bits too much or Yeah, oh well I'll have a play around with it anyway and like yeah. Better I'll got better hit the hay. But um thanks for checking it out. You're welcome to like go back and have a look at other stuff. It wasn't a lot, I mean like it kept me entertained, but there wasn't a lot of like cutscene or a lot of story and that added during the night. But yeah, I think that probably my first broadcast had the most storyline in it, and it all happened in like the first hour or so. Yeah. Alright, dude. Well, hope whoever's watching this still by this point is keeping entertained and, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.